standing here once again with head coach Jay Acorsi and coach 2-0 to start conference play. You uh, guaranteed yourself another berth. It seems like this team is starting to pick up and, and stride it out. Yeah, we knew with our early, early season schedule and having to play on the road that, you know, that was going to be a tough stretch for us and probably the, the toughest part of the season. Uh, and again, I think that hardened us for conference play. And uh, I think it's paying off now for the competition that we played early on. And again, I think the schedules help that we're playing more uh, games at home. Now moving on to Saturday and Morrisville State, the only conference loss was to them last year. How do these kids come out and, and go about this game smartly, not try and go out angry? How do they just keep cool and go get a W? Well, I think the key is, you, you know, you got to pr approach each week as it comes and each game as it comes. And, you know, we decided after the out-of-conference schedule when we were one and two that that's what we needed to do was just concentrate one week at a time. And if we worried about that particular conference team at that time and came away with a win, then it bought us bought ourselves, you know, another per se conference championship game the next week. So we did that against Cortland up at Cortland. We did that at William Patterson here at home. So all that did was really get us into our next conference championship game, which is against Morrisville and a team that beat us last year. Now just kind of going off of that, a lot of people were pointing to this game as the potential NJAC winner, even though there's going to be two conference games left after Saturday. What's your take on that? Well, you know, it's still early, but obviously, you know, two teams that are undefeated in conference, both having some success. Obviously, they're having some success out of conference with a, a pretty good record. Um, but again, it, it's still early in the conference. But certainly, you know, when you have two teams early in the season that are undefeated, you know, it, it, the winner is going to put themselves in a great chance to possibly win the conference. And that's been our goal after the other conference games was now our next goal is we got to win the conference. What do we need to do? We need to go week by week and we put ourselves in that situation. So, um, again, obviously a, a big game in conference because it's two undefeated teams. You know, but there's still other things that can go on and happen. We just have to worry about ourselves and control our own destiny. And I think if we do that, we'll be in good shape. All right, Coach. Pleasure as always, and good luck. Thank you very much. Now here with uh, senior offensive lineman Joe Borden and Joe the Stories this year, there's there's a lot of them. Defense playing really well, special teams. But I think one of the, the hidden factors is that of the offensive line. You've allowed the fewest sacks in the end, Jack, at four. What are the things that are working up front? Well, we're uh, communicating a lot, and uh, I think the fact that we take pride in not letting Billy get hit is why we don't have uh, that many sacks on us. Now, you just brought out that point of uh, the, the sacks. Mooresville comes in with the, the second most sacks with 11. What have you been working on this week to prevent that from happening and keeping them out of the backfield? Well, we are just, you know, watching film. All the guys are watching film, getting tips on what their guys do, you know, and just doing the same things we do every week, you know, communicating with one another for the slides and everything like that. Now, as a captain on this team, a lot of responsibilities. And this game on Saturday is uh, obviously a, a very big game. It, it has big implications down the line for the uh, for the NJAC. What are you going to be telling your offensive line and the team Saturday morning? I'm basically just going to be telling them it's another game. Yeah, it's an important game, but it's the game this week. And every week the game is important no matter who we're playing. And I think the guys will respond and we'll answer with a W here. Now here with defensive back, grad student Kurt Kingen. Kurt, uh, playing in the in the backfield of uh, the defense, you see a lot of the field. Um, what have you been noticing this year that has made this defense so successful? Uh, well, I think similar to, similarly to years past, the uh, D-line gets great pressure, and the linebackers do a great job stopping the run. So it makes it pretty easy for us back there. We kind of just, kinda, like you said, survey the field and wait for the balls to come. Now, last year, this uh, Morrisville State team gave the pros uh, one of the biggest beatings since 2010 in conference. Um, what is being said amongst the players and the coaches heading into Saturday? Uh, well, we've been looking forward to this one for a while. Um, you don't look past any teams, but we obviously had this one circled, ready to uh, for a little payback, I guess. Yeah, we're ready to go. Morrisville comes in with the, the best offense in the NJAC, 40 points per game, 500 uh, yards a game. Lamar Johnson is a big factor in that. What is being worked on defensively to slow him down? I mean, he's a dynamic player, so obviously when you have somebody like that playing quarterback, you got to keep an eye on him at all times, but we're going we're gonna to play our defense and we'll be fine. All right, Kurt, thank you and go get him. Thank you.